name's Noah Scrimcher. I'm Chris's best man. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that was able to come to the ceremony today and everybody that stuck around for the reception. Just thank you so much for being part of Chris and Devin's special day. Our moms are best friends, so it's only inevitable that we are too. You know, we're lifers. Ride or dies to the end. Um, as far as I know, we're probably still each other's top eight on MySpace. Now, ordinarily, I would not be looking at my phone for a speech, but Chris and I have so many stories that I've been told that I can't tell. We share many memories together, like rolling a go-kart and riding in silence all the way back. Many summers of playing softball together and having my dad scream at us. With some background on Chris and I's friendship, I really started to get to hang out with Chris when I was in eighth grade. Rebellious teenage girl stuff, as well as spe sharing special moments together and heartbreaks. We've always had each other's backs through thick and thin. Not only once, not once, allowing our friendship to fade like it never existed, even from 1,800 miles away. Devin is one of the strongest people I know. She's an amazing friend, most reliable, and the best secret keeper, as well as the most amazing mommy a little girl could ever have. This is the time that I got to tag along, we were playing variations of baseball. We played regular baseball, we played left-handed baseball, we played wiffle ball, played baseball with a wood bat and a tennis ball, anything you can do with baseball. What I remember most about Chris that summer is Chris's iconic laugh. And if you've ever talked to Chris for more than two minutes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I know you have had your times of struggle and heartbreak, but it has made you so much stronger and a much better lover for Chris. Just know I will always have your back and always be here for you. As someone who has loved Devin for all this time, I want you to know something. You never have to worry where her heart is. She will always support you when life gets a little out of control. Or if you feel like falling apart, lean on her as she is your foundation. One summer, Chris texted me and said, hey, do you want to go to Buffalo Wild Wings to watch the UFC pay-per-view? I was all about it, loved the UFC. Chris texted me and said, hey, is it okay if this girl Devin tags me? I said, hey, no problem. Chris had had girlfriends in college, no big deal, it'd be fine. So we get there and within the first 10 minutes, I knew that Devin was different. The first time Devin told me that she was going to meet this guy, she turned on her location for a few of her closest friends. <laughs> <laughs> to keep tabs on her. She wanted us to know who was going to kidnap her and where they were. Remember to pick your shoes up, <laughs> do the dishes, help make dinner, always get her coffee in the morning if you want to survive. I want to speak to Devin directly. Devin, I'm so glad that you found my friend Chris Robinson. I'm so happy that you've been able to bring out his best characteristics and turn him up to 11. I'm so thankful that he is going to have this wonderful family with you and Aubrey. And I am so excited to see what lies next for you all. Here's a little advice. If Chris is ever down, just turn on Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme song. It will pick him up instantly. Chris, thank you for being domesticated. It was about time. <laughs> And you couldn't have picked a better girl. To everyone else, please raise your glass, toast, 
to the Robertsons. After a while, we started to get concerned. Her location hadn't moved. Finally got a message saying she was leaving and it went well. He lived about an hour away, so if she really wanted to bell, she could. The only thing I remember about their first date is that Chris had to go to the bathroom really bad. We sat there squirming for a few before asking Devin if he were to use the bathroom if she'd be gone when he got back. We went to meet Chris's family and they absolutely adored her. Thank you, Chris's family, for accepting Devin and Aubrey. You guys have amazing additions. Kim, Becky, Chase, Janelle, Becky, Shay. Just know Chris isn't going anywhere.